Meteor Client has updated to Minecraft Java Edition 1.21.10, which is amazing, and so I'm showing you right now how to get it. So to get to one, how to head over to their official website, MeteorClient.com. This is going to be linked right down in the description below. Here you want to navigate over to their downloads, where we can directly download Meteor Client for 1.21.10. By clicking on that, you will be brought to an ad page. Don't click on anything here. Simply wait for the countdown. It takes 10 seconds. Then click on skip and your download will start. By the way, while you're down there in the description, definitely make sure to check out my Discord server. We just hit 100,000 members and so I'm doing a massive giveaway. And also, there's just so many other clients here too. With that being said, to use me to your client, you do need to have a fabric installed for Minecraft 1.21.10. To get it, I will link it down in the description below if you don't have it yet. Anyways, now as you can see, I've got the Meteor Client mod in my downloads, and we can simply place this in the Mods folder. We can get there by pressing on Windows and R at the same time, then typing in App Data, then going into the folder called Roaming.Minecraft, and finally scrolling down until you find the Mods folder over here. Once you've found that, simply drag in Meteor Client, and we're good to go. Open up the Minecraft Launcher and start up Fabric for 1.21.10. And bam, just like that, we're inside of Minecraft. You'll know this worked correctly if you see this little meet your client overlay in the top right hand side. Anyways, for right now, I'll just briefly head into a single player world and show you how to get started using this. So for right now, I'll just show you how to get started with Meet Your Client. If you want a full in-depth tutorial, then I have actually already made that and I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, to get right in, you'll already notice that we have some Meteor Client stuff on our screen, and I'll explain more about that later, but first off, just press on the right shift button on your keyboard, and that is going to allow you to open up the menu, you can close it with escape. Anyways, this contains all of the utilities that Meteor Client has to offer, and it works exactly as any other client does if you've used them before. If you haven't, basically, we can click on these to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off, right click for these nice little customization menus and we can actually hover above them and you'll get a description of exactly what the utility does really useful and that's like 80 percent of the client it's literally that easy to use of course there is a lot here so definitely take your time checking out everything there is so much that this client has to offer so much that you don't even need but it it is there so that's pretty cool anyways you'll notice some other tabs right up here there's a config tab where you can set up the way the client looks. There's a GUI tab where you can also set up the way the client looks. Then there's a HUD tab over here. This is the heads up display. And basically it's all the things you can see on your screen. You can customize them here. And as you can see, we've already got a few of these. Um, just some general information and an array list. This displays all active utilities. If you want to edit that, simply click on the edit button right over here. Right click anywhere on your screen and then we've got a list of modules that we can add. Maybe I want an active... Actually, I already got the active modules display, but now I've got two of them. And that's pretty cool. I want to leave it at that. Or actually, I want to delete this. I don't know. Sure. Then I'll press on escape. And that's done. We can also just de deactivate it completely if you like. And now it's gone. Anyways, continuing, we've got this friends menu over here where you can add meet your client specific friends. They have some other uses too. For example, if you've got a kill aura enabled, then you can set it to not target people who are in your friends list. For the rest, you can create macros as well as profiles. Probably the more important one is profiles. This allows you to save all customizations or a specific selection of customizations that you have on your current setup over here. Load them at different times whenever you want, kind of that thing just for specific scenarios. For example, you can make a Skywars config or something of the like. You can also, I mean, profile. They're called profiles in Meet here. You can also share them, download other people's. You guys get the idea. Anyways, that isn't even all that Meteor Client has to offer because they've also got commands. To use the commands, simply open up the chat and instead of typing the usual slash, we want to prefix our commands with a dot. And it's it's that easy, so dot help is going to list all of the commands for you. And we can hover above these and we'll get a description of exactly what they do. 
Meet Your Client is legendary when it comes to commands because they literally have autofill, which makes these commands so easy to use. Finally, there's actually also quite a few add-ons you can use with Meet Your Client. These are basically other mods you add to your mods folder and they can massively expand what Meet Your Client already offers. I'll link a few of these down in the description below if you guys want to check them out, but for right now, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye!